Talk to five different people about COVID-19 and you're probably gonna get five very different opinions. But one thing almost all of us can agree on is that we aren't where we hoped we would be. The data is not looking so good. While we are certainly not in the extreme situation we were in this past spring. Michigan had seen a downward trend in new cases since our peak day of April 1st. In fact, by the time we got to mid-June, our numbers were looking relatively flat. But over the last two weeks, we've started to see an uptick in new cases. We really do need to get back on track and in the right direction again. Some say that's because more people are being tested. And it's true, you do have a better chance of finding something if you're actually looking for it. But does that really explain our uptick? All right, take a look at this trend. This is the percentage of diagnostic tests that were positive. Back in April, when we were averaging about 3,000 tests a day, we were at 42% positivity rate. Fast forward to today, where we're averaging 20,000 tests a day, and we're closer to 4% positivity rate. That's a good thing. The percentage has gone down, but the actual number of cases we're testing and coming back positive has not. Could you imagine if we were still testing at a 40% positivity rate? We'd be in a world of hurt. So our uptick might not just be more testing. Back in mid-June, our entire state was in a green to light yellow, a low risk for exposure, but that has changed. Detroit area, which when this all began was a hot spot, is now listed as a medium high risk. Instead, here in Michigan, the hot spots have shifted to Lansing and Grand Rapids. Both of those zones are high risk. And we're also seeing an increase in cases up north. I think we all expected that with the stay at home order being lifted and the summer tourism season. Counties though that had only seen a handful of cases are now seeing their numbers go up. Still, northern Michigan numbers are relatively low. Our positive cases and our tests are low as well, but so is our population. So what does all this data mean? Well, epidemiologists say it does suggest that Michigan's infection rate is in fact climbing. Whether that's because of more testing, more tourism, or us not being as good with best practices like social distancing and hand washing, that's hard to say. Either way, the governor's warned that if these numbers continue the way they're going, we should expect a change. We're watching the trends, and right now, the trend of where we're headed is, is concerning. Uh, I'm not announcing a step back today. I'm certainly not announcing a step forward today. But if we want to be in a position in eight weeks from now where we can get our kids back in in-person um, education, this trend can't continue. For 7 and 4 News, I'm Mark Shillette.